Hey guys, it's me, Taka. Minasan, konnichiwa, Taka desu. Today, we're gonna learn basic Japanese verb, au, au, au. You know this verb, it means to meet in English. If you don't know this verb, please don't mind. By the end of the, this lesson, you will know how to use this verb. First example, sensei ni au. Sensei ni au. To meet the teacher. Sensei ni au. Sensei is a teacher and au is to meet. And in this case, the best particle is ni. Ni. Sensei ni au. Sensei ni au. More specific, I meet the teacher, right? I meet the teacher. In Japanese, we usually omit the subject. Basically, we say sensei ni au, but more specific, watashi wa sensei ni au. Watashi wa sensei ni au. More naturally, we omit the subject. So, sensei ni au. Sensei ni au. And if you want to say, you meet the teacher, then finally we can say, anata wa sensei ni au. Anata wa sensei ni au. The second person and third person and someone, then we use a subject, anata wa sensei ni au. Taka san wa sensei ni au. Like that. But the first person, like I, then we can omit the subject. And second topics, verb conjugation. If you'd like to make the past tense uh, like that, sensei ni au is a present tense, right? How about I met a teacher like a past tense? Then we can say sensei ni atta. Sensei ni atta. Au is a present tense. Atta is past tense, you know? Au is present tense. Atta is a past tense. Sensei ni atta. Sensei ni atta. Watashi wa sensei ni atta. Anata wa sensei ni atta. And next, negative sentence. I don't meet a teacher. Then, sensei ni awa nai. Sensei ni awa nai. Au atta awa nai. No? How about past and negative? Sensei ni awana katta. Sensei ni awana katta. I guess you feel confused, right? I'm sorry, my poor English is it's so difficult to express about this. But I do my best. Please understand it. Au is to meet. Atta is met. Past tense. Awa nai. Negative. Awa nai. Awana katta, negative and past. Awana katta. And last, please meet with me. Please, please meet with me. Atte kudasai. Atte kudasai. Au is to meet and kudasai is please. So, if you'd like to connect au and kudasai, the basic mistake is au kudasai. Watashi to au kudasai. That's a basic mistake. If you'd like to connect au, verb, and kudasai, then you should translate te form. A te kudasai. A te kudasai. Please meet with me. Watashi to a te kudasai. Au kudasai is a mistake. You know what I mean? This lesson we learned the basic Japanese verb au, au, au. How about past tense? Atta. How about negative? Awanai. How about negative and past? Awana katta. Te home is atte. Atte. Atte kudasai. Watashi to atte kudasai. Japanese verb conjugation is difficult for you, but please don't mind if you can't uh, use the verb conjugation correctly. I understand. I think I understand what you want to say. We don't mind. We can understand what you say. So please try to do it. Alright, thanks for watching today's lesson. I hope you liked this video. And if you guys have some ideas and some requests about my video, uh, please feel free to comment. Alright, see you next time. Bye. Mata ne.